Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Friday to every single one of you. Now, we're about to have some big changes to our pattern for right now and what's going to happen in August. Like now, you have all these excessive heat warnings and all these heat advisories in the Northwest. This is about to flip-flop and is going to come back. Matter of fact, from the next six to 10 days, y'all gonna turn to below average temperatures and all the heat pattern is gonna move through the central US and the Northeast. Now we do have some cold fronts that is moving through as well. It is gonna be a pretty extreme pattern, over 100 to 105, 110 degree temperatures, plus your heat index. And then overnight is gonna be 40s and 50s moving through with these cold fronts. And there is gonna be a lot of storms that's gonna be forming on the western side of the US. Now, because of this pattern change, it is gonna put below average precipitation in all of this brown and way above average precipitation on the western side of the US. And there is some good news, because when you look from the eight to 14 days, there is a possibility for Texas and Louisiana for y'all to get a little bit above average precipitation from eight to 14 days out. So it looks like there is some rainfall definitely coming your way, not a lot, but there is some coming. And you can see this difference come as you look at your Pacific North American pattern and what you can expect as we go into a positive phase or a negative phase. So when you're in a positive phase, which is what we're in now right above my head, you can see that you have this big high pressure on the Western side of the US while you get some low pressures moving through the Eastern of the US. And then when you go into a negative phase, which is what we're about to go into a big negative phase, you get a lot of low pressure on the western side of the US, and you're gonna get a lot of high pressure shifting to the eastern of the US. Now this is gonna bring a big cool down for the western side of the US as we go into this negative phase and some hotter temperatures from the center to the eastern side of the US as we go into this negative phase. Then we're gonna shift back to a positive phase where we still have low pressures on the eastern of the US, even colder temperatures moving through with these cold fronts. But then the high pressure is coming back to the western side of the US and you're gonna be in these hot temperatures once again on the western side. So it is gonna be a big flip flop on what's about to happen. And you can see this when you look at the Pacific North American pattern, according to the Euro, you can see how we're going into a positive phase, but then we're about to dig in real deep all the way into the early August, all the way to August 6th and 7th to a big negative pattern. This is gonna put a lot of hot temperatures from the center to the east side of the US. A lot of cooler temperatures on the west side, but a lot of storms brewing as well. And it's hinting that it's going back into a positive phase right after that. And you can see also with the GFS that after this positive phase that we're gonna go right back into a deep negative phase all the way down to a negative five. This is gonna put a lot of storms on the western side of the US, a lot of warmer temperatures on the eastern side of the US, but it won't last long because after that, we're gonna go into an extreme positive phase where it's going right back to where it just was. Heat on the western side of the US while we get some low pressure and some cool fronts on the center to the eastern side of the US. So it is gonna be a big flip-flop that's about to happen. And when you look at the AO, the Arctic Oscillation, lets you know when you have these cold fronts coming down, you can see we have a few cold fronts coming through, not no really big deal, upper Midwest, a little bit of the Northeast. But as we go towards the 10th of August, as we go back into this positive phase, that we're gonna have a cold front coming in pretty deep into our US, and this is gonna bring 40s and 50s really good into our country while they're getting those high temperatures throughout the day. So you're gonna have extreme temperatures throughout the day, extreme cold temperatures throughout the night. And you can see this when you look at your 500 height anomalies. You can see that we have high pressure building on the Northwest. You have your hotter temperatures. And we have these cold fronts that are swinging through the Ohio Valley, the Northeast. We just had them in the upper Midwest. I'm in Milwaukee. So we had a nice cool mornings coming. It's gonna be for today and tomorrow. But then we're gonna go into a negative pattern where we have cooler temperatures and lower pressures on the Western side of the US high pressure building on the eastern of the US, and it's gonna stick that way for the beginning of August and stay around for quite some time, all the way to August 5th. Then we're going back towards a positive phase where the cooler temperatures and the lower pressures will swing to the northeast, and the high pressure and the warmer temperatures will swing right back 
to the western side of the U.S. Now, when you look at your dew points, you can see it's going to bring a lot of severe weather as well, and it's going to bring the mugginess and the hot temperatures. This change is also going to bring not only a lot of hot temperatures, it's also going to bring a lot of storms. So as you look at the dew points, you can see how we don't have the dew points in the northern half of the U.S. because we have these cold fronts that are still passing through. We're about to go into the negative phase where all this humidity, all these dew points are going to go way up to the upper Midwest, all the way into Canada while you're getting storms brewing on the western side of the U.S. and you're not getting all that humidity levels. Then it's really going to get strong for the beginning of August while you get some very strong dew points coming all the way up towards Canada. A lot of dew points bring in a lot of storms and the storms are going to start brewing up once you get to August 2nd, August 3rd. You're going to start getting these storms brewing up for the upper Midwest and going into Canada over and over before you get these cold fronts that are going to start popping through the U.S. once again. So it is going to be some strong dew points bringing very warm, hot temperatures for y'all, especially the heat index. Then we're going to get these cold fronts that's going to pass through over and over to the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, the Northeast. Then we're going to get the strong temperatures again, bringing storms once again to the upper Midwest, right in between these cold fronts. And we're going to keep getting this pattern all the way until it changes back into a positive phase. We're going to keep getting more and more cold fronts coming through the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the Northeast. It's going to stay that pattern for quite some time. So as you look at your temperatures, you can see you're well above 100 in the northwest as well as the south central. You have some very hot temperatures coming through. But as we go into August and we go into this negative pattern, you're going to see these hot temperatures move over to center of the U.S. And it's going to grow all the way to the upper Midwest, all the way towards Canada. And this is by August 2nd. And you can see this a little closer as we go into the beginning of August. It's going to start bringing these very hot temperatures all the way from the south all the way to the upper Midwest over and over again for the beginning of August. And so far, it's looked like South Dakota is a pretty good hot spot for some very extreme temperatures coming while you're getting those storms also coming from the West. Look at this, very hot temperatures coming for August 3rd, next Wednesday. Everybody over 100 and something degrees. And when you look at your apparent temperature, you'll see that the 100 really leaks all the way into the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley. So with the heat index, y'all going to be feeling the 100 degree temperatures. It's not just going to be for this one area, but it's going to stay here for quite some time. This big extreme pattern of very hot temperatures all the way until next Thursday. Then as you go into Friday, you have more hot temperatures as we start getting these cool fronts coming down. And now you're going to start going to sleep with some 50s rolling in as you go into next Saturday as we start switching into this negative pattern where we have cool fronts passing through. It will also swing to the Ohio Valley as you go into the 7th and go out to the northeast on the 8th. Why are you getting these daytime very extreme temperatures? So as you start to get this heat going back towards the northwest as after we go back into this positive pattern, then you're going to get these cool fronts coming th down through the Ohio Valley, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and it will swing to the northeast as well. And that is going to be one of our cooler fronts. So even though it is going to be hotter temperatures, that's going to be shifting our way. This is going to shift back to the west once again because we're going to go right back into a positive pattern. Very cool temperatures coming through with this cold front. And the strongest of the cold front so far is around the 10th and the 11th where it comes through the upper Midwest, bringing some cooler temperatures for y'all. But it's also swinging through the Ohio Valley where you're going to wake up on the 11th with some 40s and 50s and you can see it does cover all the way through the Ohio Valley and it does swing out through the northeast for the 12th as well. So you're going to have some very cool mornings coming through with this next extreme pattern as it flips back to the heat for the western side of the U.S. So you do have some heat coming through for y'all because it is shifting into this negative pattern but it's going to go right back into the positive pattern we all have these steady cold fronts coming through once again. But you can see the pattern change back into the positive. So as we start getting those systems coming through, these cold fronts come through and it's going to bring some nice cooler temperatures for you. And you can see with your temperatures, it is bringing a nice cool front, especially from the seventh on. And as it continues to come on, then you got your pattern flip. Then you got your cold temperatures coming through. You got your cold fronts and you got your heat coming back to the western side of the U.S. once again. 
Cold fronts are going to continue all the way to the middle of August. Very strong cold fronts coming through our U.S., bringing cooler temperatures while the heat builds back to the western side of the U.S. because we're going back into that positive phase. So I know y'all hot in the northwest. It is going to be a cool down coming with some storm systems brewing, but the heat is going to come back eventually. You can also see a quick update with your tropics as all this happens. So you can see this with your NASA satellite. When you look for your dust, you have your tropical storm, Hurricane Georgette, still going over there in the eastern Pacific, bringing y'all some more monsoon rainfall. You're going to be in flash flooding still for quite some time while this dust moves through and this will fill the atmosphere not with very thick dust but there is dust particles going all the way up to the upper midwest as we're getting all this heat we can also see that the next couple waves two to three waves will be forming into the pacific so the next two waves right there forming into the pacific and possibly a third one after that forming into the pacific so we're still in that pattern where nothing's coming off our mdr we got too much sinking air everything is still getting suppressed into our eastern pacific and they're just running through the names over and over and over you can look from the whole basin that we continue getting these big old storms coming off the mdr nice and strong but they meet this dust suppresses them quickly and nothing forms out of this Everything is still southerly. Everything is still going to flow through South America, Central America, and go into our eastern Pacific. Still nothing happening in our tropics. I'm showing all the way through August, guys. Now, you can also see when you look at your global tropics from August 3rd all the way to August 9th, you are expecting a tropical depression or greater strength, a tropical cyclone to form into the eastern Pacific. And all the heavy rainfall above average third historical is right here for Central America and South America. But you also can see that all this area right here, all this brown, all this white from August 3rd to August 9th, as we go into this negative phase, all that brown and white means that you're in an upper third historical range for your temperatures for August 3rd through August 9th, from the center of the US all the way to the East Coast. And you can also see when you check for just a chance for a tropical depression throughout all this time with the Euro, you see everything passes through to Central America, going out to the Eastern Pacific. And this is all the way to the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. Very strong anomaly coming through the Eastern Pacific. Nothing for us. And when you look at your potential velocity anomaly, according to the Euro, it's really getting depressing as far as anybody that's wanting hurricane season to help bring some rainfall to a lot of well-needed areas. You see, we get something in the Pacific. We're getting something strong off the MDR, but it has all this sinking air right behind it. It's not forming. And we have sinking air all the way from historical beginning of our Atlantic hurricane season, August 10th, all the way to the beginning of September. A lot of sinking air. Now, this could change easily, but so far it's looking like this is going to go past late August for the beginning of our hurricane season because we still have all this sinking air. I just wanted to do a quick video for y'all, let y'all know about the pattern change that we're about to come into with this temperature swing as well as where these storms are going to start brewing up. But thank you so much for visiting my channel. God bless every single one of you this weekend. And thank you all so much for the prayers and the blessings for my mother-in-law. We love her so much. In case y'all didn't know, I put it on my community tab. She's dealing with surgery and we want her to know that she's loved. We think about her. We want her to know that we want her to stay with us. I like for her to move in, be honest with you. There's nothing better than to have family as close as together. But y'all prayers that y'all sent to her, I'm sure put a big smile on her face. So thank you so much for letting her know that she's not alone while she goes through this. God bless you all. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate that. Psalm 96. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. 
He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord, for he cometh. For he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Amen. God bless you all. Good Shabbos to all of you going into your Sabbath this afternoon. Thank you all so much for your time today. And most of all, God bless all of you in Kentucky that is dealing with what y'all dealing with that came out of all these floods. I'm showing you still got more rain coming Sunday into Monday. And you already have 15 deaths because of it. So God bless you and your families for all of you that are going through that. I pray peace in your life and help. I know y'all need it. God bless you all over there. And remember, all glory, all honor does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, our Father. Give praise to him, for he did earn it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless every single one of you. Have a very blessed day.